Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to insert pictures into Final Cut Pro 10. Look at this photograph. Now I'm gonna share with you ways to add pictures into Final Cut Pro. We're also gonna use a picture and a quote, add some motion, make that look nice. And you may have landed here because you're trying to do picture in picture, whether that's with a still image or with video, I'm gonna show you how to make that look fantastic. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're in Final Cut Pro. We're gonna take a look at how to insert these pictures in. So let's go with this example here. We got this car. We wanna drop that into the timeline. There's a couple different ways we can do it. We got some buttons here. We could connect the clip to the primary storyline here, which it just has this little tag that you can see there. And anywhere along that, it will stay connected to that timeline. And now the shortcut for that one is just to press the Q key, and that inserts it right into the timeline, connects it. So the next one is the insert. So that, wherever your playhead is at, it's going to insert it right into there, right into that spot. So you wanna be careful where you have this uh, playhead at. So if we put it at the beginning and insert it, or if we use the shortcut W, it'll insert wherever we, wherever we put that playhead at. Now the next one is add to end. And boom, just at the end of the primary timeline, it'll just add that clip to the end. And that shortcut is E. E for end. All right, and the next one is overwrite. It's gonna take the clip below it and completely take over the entire space on the primary timeline. So if we wanted to do that, we would click here, overwrite. And as you can see, it just takes over the whole clip, erasing whatever was below it. So let me show you that again, but with the shortcut, which is D. All right, now the other way to add clips is simply drag and drop. And you can drag and drop them onto the timeline right next to your other clips or on top of connected to the timeline. All right, so let's say we wanted to replace the clip. Let's drag something in here. It comes up with a few options. So replace is gonna replace the original clip with the full length of the new clip. So if we replace that, if that clip was 20 seconds and this original one was 10, it would ripple the timeline and it would replace it with that 20 second clip. Now, if we wanted to replace it this way and replace from start, it's gonna replace this clip to the same length of the existing clip. So it'll retime itself to replace it. So the other one is replace from end and that uh, the target clip is replaced with the source clip starting from the end of the source selection and the duration stays the same. So very similar to the start, just with a different end point. So replace with retime to fit, what that's gonna do is that's gonna retime the new clip to match the old clip, whether it's gonna slow it down or speed it up. And the last one is replace and add to audition. So what that's gonna do is this little icon's gonna appear and we're gonna have a little audition screen that pops up whenever we click that. And what that does is allows you to pick through a few different options. So like, let's say we wanted to bring another one of these in and we wanted to add to audition. It'll simply have that clip in here ready to audition for this spot in the timeline. And with these audition rolls, once you find the one that you want, you click done and for the audition, you can actually finalize it, and that's your pick of that media. When you're asking about inserting pictures into Final Cut Pro, one of the things you may have been wanting to do is, is something like this. So we have this lovely picture of this mother and her baby. Um, we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a quote alongside of this image. So we're gonna take this image and we're gonna drag it to the side, just like so. And then we are gonna create a custom background. Let's go up to generators. Custom. I drag that below. Retime that. And this color in the background, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to grab the color in that image. And we can see it's not perfectly matching up. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna feather this. 
So we're gonna bring in a graduated mask and we are gonna set that over this way. And I don't know if you can see that, but right here, this is the edge of the mask. We're gonna set it right there and then we're gonna feather it out. And you can see it just blends that line, allows it to be a nice smooth transition to the rest of the picture. All right, now that we got that, we're gonna make this into a compound clip. Mother and baby. All right, and then what we're gonna do is a couple different things. So in this clip, we could just simply add the title and that be that, but I wanna add a little bit of movement. We could actually go in and create a crop, Ken Burns, and we can have a starting position and a stopping position. Make those similar. And let's play that back. Very nice. All right, so we got that nice Ken Burns effect. Now let's go ahead and take this and add one more thing to it. I'm gonna take a look at some color presets. Kind of like that one there. Let's go ahead and drag that on, but I do want to modify that some. Looks like that just brought up our color board. We're gonna bring that exposure down just a little bit. All right, now we're gonna bring in a title. Okay, for something like this, I just wanna go subtle. We'll just do a build in and build out. Just gonna do a simple fade. Bring that in here. And I can see that it's white, so we're gonna make this black. We'll have a build in and build out. All right, so I have a quote that I have prepared. Best medicine in the world is a mother's kiss. All right, so we got this here. We're gonna find a new font just to make this really match what we got going on here. You know what, that looks great right there. Let's go ahead and blow that up some. Take that down a bit. All right, let's play that back. And there we go. That's a great way to add a quote with a picture inside Final Cut Pro. If you're finding this helpful so far, just know we release new content all the time to help with your Final Cut Pro projects. Stay tuned for some picture in picture action. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to get notified when we release our next video. Okay, so in searching for this topic, you may be wondering how you can create a picture in picture uh, reaction video or uh, maybe a screen recording just like we're doing here. So I'm gonna show you a couple ways you can make that work for you. So let's say we got like a scene from an action movie here. Now we're gonna take our reaction clip. We're gonna drop that on top here. All right, so this isn't working yet, but we can change the scale, move this off to the side. This is kind of a slow process, but if we click this button right here, this will give us the transform tool options. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use a shape mask to get this right here. So let's look for mask. And let's drag a shape mask right on top of it. All right, so already you can see it's a pretty cool effect, but what I wanna do is I wanna take the feathering off and let's square up the video. See, this makes it square edges or rounded edges. Let's make that a square, let's adjust the size, put that feathering back to zero. All right, transform it a little bit more. So now that we got our square image, we can put that right in the corner where we want that to be. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you another way to do this using this clip here, right here. If you type in shape under generators, you'll see this. We're gonna drop that right on top of this clip here. I'm gonna make a few adjustments to get this right. So first thing we're gonna do is bring up the inspector, modify this to not have the fill. And then we wanna make this border however we want that to look. So let's make a few adjustments. First thing, I think I want a white, maybe a little bit more width. So, and then what we're gonna do is gonna take the bottom clip, click transform, and get this exactly how we want it to be. Let's say we want a little bit more of the person in the frame. I know it looks weird, don't be alarmed. We're gonna do a couple more steps. We're gonna hold 
option. Drag another layer of this up. We're gonna select the bottom layer. We're gonna choose fill. And now we'll come up here to these video tools and we're gonna do stencil alpha and the under blend mode. Boom. Now, if we wanna see the clip below, we just combine these into a compound clip, picture in picture. And what's great about this compound clip is we can actually go back inside and make adjustments. Not for that, but for this right here. We can make adjustments to make sure that your, your, your character is centered in that screen. <laughs> that looks silly. From here, uh, adjust it further, make it smaller, fit it in that corner. And let's play this back. Look at that. Looks pretty snazzy. Righteous. Now that you've learned how to insert a picture in Final Cut Pro, I've made another video about how to add text to video in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.